Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nilaus and we are back here and I have fixed my audio setup. So hopefully you can hear me loud and clear and uh, there will not be any more confusion about me mumbling or being too, uh, too quiet. And we are here back again with our glorious base. Unfortunately, on a rainy December day, it'll pass quickly and get into the new year. Let's talk a bit about what we're going to do in this episode. And uh, well, it's all about the offshore oil. I guess you know that because you've seen the title and the thumbnail. I imagine you've uh, you've clicked on those. So what that means is that it's a couple of steps. We have to get up here. I've already sent um, one in here. Let's me see. Request a ship to visit this location. We have an oil rig level two. I think I'm going to go upgrade it to level four because it's only making 54 per 60 seconds. That's not really a lot. So if we scale it up, then it's going to be much better. Then on top of that, oh, look at this. This is interesting. We actually have filled this entire area out with uh, with goop. And let's make sure that we, I, there we go. I'm going to be doing the same thing over here and getting that. Let's see, that must be one, two, three, and then over here. That should be the same. Yeah. Nope, it doesn't seem like it is. That seems more correct. Ah, right, yes. Okay, and then I want this part to be uh, marking this area for there. Because this is uh, now highlighted to from all the other ones. They'll just pick up or drop off uh, random crap. And they'll drop off here. Now, that we get the oil rig. So that's the first thing we want to do. And what else? Well, let's look at science as well. Uh, what we need is we need advanced diesel which will get us some more advanced uh, diesel parts. We need gas combustion so we can process the heavy medium oil uh, into uh, into steam. And then we're going to go up here working on our conveyor belts and then a cargo depot too. Uh, I kind of want the cargo depot first because the belts are nice and all, but let me see what happened. That one gets canceled. That removes everything from the line. So this goes first. After that, we can do a lot of other things here. And we just, now at this point, we just need random stuff. Uh, none of this we really, really need. So let's just put it in here. Uh, larger vehicles, yes, we'll get it soon. Uh, here's another part. If I want to make my modules here, uh, these modules, they take the next tier. And that means the first thing I need to do is get the next tier of construction parts in here. And why are you not working? Oh, you're completely full. Whoa. Uh, let's do this part and then uncheck that. And now we need to get it over to the other part, which is, should be easy. Uh, what do you have on this belt? You have the wrong construction parts. Let's remove that. Uh, let's remove that. And let's remove that. Unfortunately, I can't uh, speed remove it. All these will now be making those parts and that part and that part. Great. This will also be flagged to construction parts three. And what do we need inbound? Well, we need uh, inbound here. We'll put that on the lower belt. There we go. And then we put it on a higher belt. We have the steel that we built last time, which is now available. Great. And that's going to be up in level one. And go straight in. And from here, it'll just go up as close as possible. There, we now have that link inbound and we definitely still need this and this other one. I might be still something in here. Uh, we can't really build anything else until we have all of this cleared out because it's yeah it doesn't work. Actually I could do the uh hold on I could do something that something like this would be a good idea to just get it in here. Alright doesn't matter. Uh it's all done. So there and there and last one is here. Now we're seeing the construction parts two flowing in here and Turn on, turn on, turn on. It's such a turn on this part. And we get steel, and that will get us the construction parts two. Construction part or construction part three. Construction part three have numerous applications. One of the most prominent, I plus press F3, uh, to get all of the trade offers is this one. You can actually trade construction parts for glass. That's really nice. Um if you, you know like why would i want that well if you look at glass production for some reason it's way too deep in the in in here and for example vehicles they're going to need glass and they are here but you can't get the glass except when you've already gone here and that's tech lab three all that stuff so you can't make glass 
but you're gonna need glass. That's uh, something that I hope they will fix because it's kind of a bit of backwards. The, re the workaround is that you're gonna be training your construction parts for glass. That seems like a bad offer, but, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, when you don't need construction parts too, you just trade them in for glass like I have been doing rigorously with uh, with stone, uh, or sorry, with wood to concrete. I always just, there we go, like just trade a few times once in a while. It is this one. And if we trade it up, then we can trade it up a little bit more. And I will just let you start loading the ship with those 20 inbound. Right, let's get started on our, uh, well, cargo depot. So we're going to build the cargo depot down here. And uh, whether we build it as a level, a small one. See, I want to build it. I guess I want to build it here. I want to build it as far back as possible. That one. And I guess we just build it. It can be upgraded later on. But this cargo depot will use our one ship that we have available. We can have three. I don't know when and how. Oh, wow, look at that. Where do you, where can you not go? What? Did that just get blocked off? Oh, these 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 things. Uh, let's have a look. If I do this, trade over. They can't get in there anymore. Oh, that's so annoying. These uh, These posts here. They block so much. So the only thing I, I have to do here is, or the main thing I have to do is actually I need to get some of this out. And then when I place it again, it uh, I need to make sure that these pillars here overlap. So now we can get in here. Let's have a look. Confirm. There. So that's kind of one of the disadvantages of the bus is uh, that part. I will also make a notification if this is empty. You'll have a note. To, no, I don't want a notification when empty. Actually, I don't want it. Cargo Depot has no modules available. Good, but it has a ship available. That's good. And now, what are we going to do? We are going to, first of all, get some fuel in here. We are then going to add some modules. That is going to be fluid modules. Boop, boop. There we go. And let's build those. Ow, ominous thunder. Now, this is where we are going to make our oil depot. And let's start looking at what it is in order for us to make the oil. See, instead of using the basic distiller, which is 54 oil to 24 diesel, then through this one and that one, we can actually get 54 becoming 36. So we get a 50% yield, extra yield, plus we get some uh, waste products that are mm, honestly pretty, uh, pretty useful. Uh, let's see, we are going to say uh, resources come in from this side, and I am going to push this the steam into the middle and I'm going to get one more of this and then flip it the other way and then have a distance of three between them because that's a good spacing I'm going to get the steam into the middle here let's look at this we get crude oil inbound and we get medium oil outbound and heavy oil outbound okay uh, we can use the medium oil we can't use the heavy oil for anything yet but we can use the medium oil now I really want to just build it up here just it seems so silly but I really want to, uh, just to make sure that there's plenty of space between them and never any problems and plenty of space for spaghetti in the mean, in the middle. It's a little bit far away. Then the question is, do I want to double this? And uh, I guess the answer is pretty much by default, yes. So now I'm going to get, I'm going to need 54 plus 54. That's, uh, yeah, 108 if we look at our output here. <coughs> Sorry. Um, this can go up to 108, but then I got, don't have workers. Okay, then I'm just going to retract the workers from here. That should be going down. What the hell happened to my workers? Huh. Uh, okay, I'm going to unload the crew. They can start working in an oil refinery, and we definitely need to get you online. Now, we are going to need 6 steam plus 3 steam. So that's 9, 18... 36. We're not going to have the whole thing running, but I want to build it this size because I want to build it this size. Now we need to get some steam inbound, and that's a bit of a, uh, a double thing because on the one hand, we're going to need, we want to make it with gas. And let's see, flip like this. We want to make it with gas over at, um, let's, let's say something like this. Not like that, right? That's too far away. Yeah, but... If I make it with gas, then for example, it's going to use heavy oil is not going to be the one medium oil. Nope, uh, not that one, not that one, but it's going to use the light oil that we get out here as a resource. If we have all of it running, we will have 48. And if I have 48, then 
I can almost make 20 or uh, 48 steam, but I only need 36 steam, so I can easily keep up. That means there will be a slight surplus of light oil, so we need to make, take care of that. But if I do this, it only works once it already works, and that's not good. So we are also going to get us a little here, a little coal boiler. And I really don't like the fact that I built it so so big, but I I think I'm gonna try it. Then let's let's see how that works. I also want a little bit of space on this side, a little bit of space on this side. Uh, I am a little bit worried that this thing here is uh, is gonna be problematic. Uh, I'd like to sort of cut that out. Actually, I want to cut that out immediately by taking a new area and then cutting that out here. And it's only one I have in here. I can actually get two and I can get two more. And then I will do the balancing thing. I'll do this part. Like that. That is definitely not what I wanted. That is definitely not what I wanted. Uh, I want to do the mining then. What? Oh, it's pits. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I did not see that. Huh. Okay, well, uh, that's why I wanted to do this one, actually. Huh. Well, then it's completely incorrect what I just did. Never mind. So now I've uh, changed it so that it's a landfill. And I have changed it so that this one, the one that gets from everywhere, is going to landfill this area. As you can see, we just start dumping trash. Don't care. Um, maybe I should, but I don't. Right, let's see. So this is going to definitely be a... Hmm... Um, it's going to have to have a balancer in here. Ooh, that doesn't work. Uh, we'll just do this one for a balancer then. Yeah, and they're going to go in. And this one's going to go in. And then I'm going to say that you want to prioritize getting it from the light oil. Light oil beast. And then that means we get steam, steam inbound. We get oil inbound from this side here. And we'll be getting this. I don't know. Oh, we can upgrade it. Sweet. Let's upgrade. We want a bigger ship when, when we can. Then I also want to make sure that we have bigger boxes out here. That one and that one. And we're going to build it here and here as well. Can these also be upgraded? They can be upgraded. And should they be upgraded? Sure. I think we want to upgrade everything we can here. Yes. And then we need more modules. That is here. Module... Fluid module M. Sweet. There we go. All of that. Nope, not that one. Okay, we'll just unpause it so you get there. And then the ship went out and another ship came in. Cargo Depot 2 and new refugees. Good. We're going to need a lot of those because the ship is going to be big. And this is going to be a big place here. Four in each of these. And all of these will now be designated with oil. And it's very important that... the you are are you allowed to come and pick up i don't know you're definitely not allowed to go drop things off in these and and then i'm gonna need a bouncer which i'll put right in the middle and that will go in here in here and i just realized maybe i want to go big faster in here i want to make sure that we can definitely always empty what we need this is how I always do it. So now all of these are going to be balanced out outputs. I'm not going to send it out until this one gets made. Then this one is getting a lot of fuel. So the ship has fuel. Great. No trees to harvest. That is not good. Uh, we're working on this area up here. And the reason why I'm working on this area is because this will be my farm later on. So let's uh, get some of this going as well. Great. Getting back to this one. Now I can take my oil from this location. I really shouldn't be, uh, be be doing this immediately. Uh, let's see. So maybe I can I can go straight in here and like this. Yeah. And then maybe even straight in here. I don't even think that's what I want. I want to go here and I go one up. All the way over. Oops, definitely not. And yeah, because I want the steam to be the straight in here. It should definitely not be a 
fast pipe go in here into these two next into here we're not going to have trucks running around inside this uh, next one will go underneath here and then go in and your question might be uh, am i sharing the blueprints i'm actually i'm not sharing the blueprints for this uh, i am because these are if i do some kind of tutorial on oil or something like that this is more of a let's play then i'll do that but of course if you're a patron supporter you can always just grab the save games and then you have all the stuff you can just copy what you need and everything will be happy now we're going to be absolutely sure that we get some ramps here and that is going to be right there and right there these are rather important and therefore we built them immediately Good. How's that one not coming along? Eh, it's getting there, but that's because it's uh, it's the Mark II or Mark III construction parts. Well, let's see. Uh, the last thing we need to do is uh, over on the side is that... No, I uh, need to go back. That goes up. This one starts here. If you start, it will try to change the change height as soon as possible to match the new height. So start from and go out. And likewise here, I'm going to build... I am not sure this is the right number. Let's see. Uh, how much? It's 18 plus 18. That's 36. That's... F uh, yeah, that's too much. Good. So this is actually correct. We do need these here. There we go. So this is going to be sour water, which is a problem. We don't want sour water. Uh, what else do you need inbound? You need some steam there. Good. Uh, down here, you're going to need... The light oil, it's prob light oil is probably coming up to second location. I would, no, second location. I would imagine that's a good place. And then going here. Yes. And let's just make it into this location and get a bouncer, which will be like this. And then I can go up. And I don't know if I can hook these up directly. Smokestack. Nope, they don't want it. They want something in between. There we go. And then I want something in here. And now I'm going to prioritize this as inbound. Doesn't matter. And this is outbound. So the only the overflow goes out here. So it goes primarily into uh, into the refueling. And only if that doesn't work, then you're going to go on to the next. Great. So now I need water. And I'm going to need coal. Those will be a little bit of a new challenge as well. And how much water? Mm, potentially more than one belt, one pipe, but I don't think so. I'm going to get it from tier one. That one. And I'm going to try to get it in here sort of from the middle. That's kind of what I'm thinking will be the correct because I'm going to get it in here. That's my plan for now. There. Uh, this is not connected somehow. Huh. Now it is. Good. So the intention is water comes in here and spreads out to that side. I'm going to need some coal coming in. Coal will be coming in on... Let's get the loose storage here. And... Oof. I like to have it over here. But Oh, look at that trash island here. <laughs> and this will be coal coming in. Let's get it up there and mark it empty. That will go all the way around into that location. Great. But I'm going to need it for something else as well because water is also a thing. Let me continue on this part. And up here, we are going to get a waste dump. There. This will be for sour water which we definitely don't want right now, so try to get rid of it. Uh, I'll also get a warning if full. Yes. Then what else do we have? Light oil is taken care of. Heavy oil is not taken care of. Heavy oil can be... Can, I can't smokestack it, but I can flare the heavy oil. I can flare up to 24 heavy oil. This is 6 plus 6 plus 6, so I can grab all the heavy oil. It kind of sucks that I have to, but I will. Uh, 1, 2. Is this a tier 1 pipe? It's a tier 1 pipe. And R to not connect. And I'm going to brag, brag it over, drag it over here. That one, get down and over here. Maybe even take this out. And then I'm going to flare it. 
Yes, so that gets flared. This goes... Switch the R mode back again. Up top. And up top. One. Oh, this one up top. There. So all of my heavy oil, I can't use it for anything. And then you might be like, oh, but you could also use it for this. Yeah, but I don't need it. And I, ultimately, I'm going to do something with it. Hold on. This can't... Uh, that's not a... That should be a flare instead. There we go. Ah, man, you've been yelling at me. You can delete that comment now. So now the only thing we have left is actually the whole point of... Uh, whole point of what we wanted uh, once we take it these here and now i'm just thinking is this more than this is 12 so it's 48 so not a problem now the last one the one that we actually wanted is going to be here and it might be a little bit different that one and there it's diesel no warning, and this one, diesel, and this diesel should actually have a warning if, no, this diesel should have a warning if empty. Yes, actually should have a warning if only less than 25. Now diesel will be 36 times four, so we need a bigger, a bigger pipe. That is here. And that's working. And the last one. Good. So now all the outputs, I think, are updated. The only thing we're missing is water inbound. So, okay. Uh, conveyor belts, good. Refuse, edicts, uh, refuse. We have 71 workers. I think we need to keep, keep scaling up uh, with more workers because this has to grow. Now, uh, this is actually looking pretty okay. I'm getting, basically, I'm going to just pushing back this, uh, this pit here so that we can build on this area. Now I need to get rid of the sour water for sure, and I need to get rid of, or I need to get some water. So let's have a look at water. We have a seawater pump. Mm -hmm. That gets us a lot of seawater, which I can build, I should be able to build somewhere here. Uh, let's see, can I also build it? I'm not really sure where exactly I want to build it. Oh, there we go. That's, that could be a place. I'd like to be able to drive through here, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. So that's a seawater pump. This pumps 108 seawater. Then I will take that into a basic distillery, which I'm just going to be building. Sort of kind of aligned to this, like that. Coal goes in. Oh, man, you'd, you'd almost think I knew what I was doing, right? There, and that gets 60, gets to be uh, 36, and then it gets some brine out, and it gets some uh, exhaust so the exhaust is easy. Everything is easy, of course, but exhaust is particularly easy there. And water goes, hey, look at that. We just prepared it just like that. And this is a tier one pipe. Hmm, it should it be? It should definitely be the same kind of pipe everywhere. There. Now the brine has to go out and this also has to go out. So I do need like a liquid dump here. Can I dump it out here? How so? Uh, there. I can't dump it, but I could also... Ah, it's kind of annoying, this part. We're going to have to find a way that we can dump it. Like, we can dump it here. I like to make sure that I don't... Okay, so that is going to be the dump for sour water. It has to be out somewhere. Two... And where are you? There you are. From here, one, two. And goes up to that one. And then connect. Great. So they can, trucks can drive under and we don't want any harvesters here anyway. I'm going to get another one. There's one guy managing uh, that part, so... Good luck with you. For you, that sounds like an awesome job for you. And here, I'm going to do the same. Uh, this will actually need to be a... No, it doesn't need to be a tier 2 because it's it can't do more anyway. Here, that goes in. And this one as well. Getting up and I guess going over here. There. So, they can drive under if they want. Uh, this looks weird. Yeah, it does look weird. This one, two. Uh, 
And I need to sort of make sure it doesn't connect. So we just press R to make sure it doesn't connect. Then press R again to connect it. So that they go straight up and then straight down. Great. I think we're done. This one will also be highlighted to be dumping uh, the brine. And I think we're done. This is done. I will be sending you off. Uh, this should... What? How, what happened? How, mm, okay. I guess... I guess it actually went out before it was ready. Damn. Now it's going to be never going to be working. But whatever. Uh, that's just a little bit unfortunate. And this will be... Cool. Let's, um, let's get the things going and uh, try to see how much we can build with Unity. Most of it. Luckily, not this one. Great. So we'll wait with... Ev we'll get everything but the oil inbound. And uh, then we'll be ready. And so it's finally done. And we are ready to hook it up. It actually just leaked a little bit in because they brought some uh, some in by truck. But they shouldn't have. And what do we have here? We have a nice full... Mm. Actually, I think I want to... This. Because I really want these to be even. And by sending this one out now, then it'll only be able to fill up the last one. Yeah, I think that's good. And small has no fuel, don't care. Low supply of diesel, that's fine. Low supply of coal, that's a little bit uh, problematic. We are also going out here and just killing pirates and going back again. So no worries there. And we are going to be unpausing all of this. And then we are going to building that one, which will give us exactly what we want. And yeah. So we get oil pumping in. It's going to work a little bit too fast compared to what we can. But we can support. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, you are not getting anything in. What are you not getting in? You're not getting the oil inbound. Uh, it's coming. It's coming here. It's coming here. It's coming here. Okay. So they're coming. Oil is coming in. And there we go. 12, 13, 14, 16. There we go. So it has to go up to 18. This one's 18. All right. They are working. Great. Huffing and puffing. Next ones will start huffing and puffing once this cycle completes, and it'll push 48 onwards to the next, at least 48 per minute, onwards to the next. And they are now all huffing and puffing. That's great. And we should see just the first little diesel coming out. Great. This one is filling up with diesel. That's glorious. What we should be doing around this location is also making a new fuel station. I think that's going to be uh, probably the most important thing. Uh, because that's a much better place to have a fuel station. And we should probably also do that with a tier 2 pipe. So just making absolutely sure we can do this. And that one, and that one. Do you want some trains, some trucks? Yes. There we go. Do I want to replace the other one? I think I do, actually. I'll definitely only have a single one. Because now this is going to be our main fuel station. And that will be fueling everywhere else. Uh, because that's going to be closer to all my iron, all my coal, and my copper smelter uh, uh, farming as well. What we've done over here, we've also upgraded a few of these belts to tier 2 conveyor belts, flat conveyors. Just to make sure that we keep up the pressure going in here to uh, to saturate these with, uh, these with iron. We're producing enough, but we're not really getting enough uh, inbound here. Let's see, where is our... Okay, we still have a little bit of buffer on fuel part uh, I can also just keep going sending that one out that's too far and then just take the next pirate thing good let's have a look at this one is it now more even it looks very even it just got in here and they are unloading at a very regular pace that's great and now we can build a lot of this now I want to just build it so that we buffer up entirely also you can see here light oil hasn't been flared the other ones part here have been flared um, but that's because we're still getting stuff in here and it's only when it oversaturates this one is stuck and now you're just using it so i think the easiest way to do it is by doing that one which now means you're going to be putting in some steam you'll be overfilled with steam and there we go so like we get the advanced oil we automate crude oil import sweet and now we don't have any more <gasps> oh no oh no panic why shoot water pollution Oh, I thought there was like a nasty disease here. There's no nasty disease. It's just water pollution that's killing us. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Uh, okay. Well, um, that's interesting. I guess we want a little bit of uh, health in then. Uh, I think that's kind of like a spiky thing. 
Then let's get a... What is it? A health boost. There we go. We can afford that. And let's also get an upgrade to our captain's uh, captain's lodge or captain's uh, office. And I guess once this one has saturated all of that, I can and will switch off these. And then the actual water pollution will not be as uh, severe. Right now, it's just dumping out how much? Uh, basically, 18, 17, 36, 72, 72 per second. That's a little bit much to dump out or 70 per, per minute and that will stabilize i'm sure uh, how is that oh right it's not working yet it's not getting there uh, because we're still in progress so as soon as this one comes in then we will get minus four new population wow this is uh this this is starting to be a little bit severe and here that one hooray good can you go more no you can just go back right we have the captain's office and i should be seeing this one get better huh it should be an edict coming in here, 1st of June. And base food edicts, 10. Look at that, everyone's happy. No problem, no problem at all. Whew, that was a little bit, little bit problematic. So we're definitely going to have to figure out a solution to this. I don't think this is gonna be as bad, but it's sour water, dumping sour water is like the worst thing you can do. You wanna do something with the sour water, but that's gonna be a little bit later. So until then, we're unfortunately gonna to have to just dump it in the water. But this little part here is actually uh, 108 per oil per minute, which is exactly what our... There, this one can produce. This produces... Oh, it actually produces a lot less. And I could and probably will just bump it up so that it is at uh, the maximum rate here. And this one is not departing. Yeah, okay. So why want to match the consumption here, 108, versus the production out here, 108. That seems very reasonable. And of course, it won't be going all the time because right now it should be stalling there because it has enough diesel. But, you know, being in a position where you have enough diesel is wonderful. I should probably do something about this one to get rid of it. But I can also say that this is probably using a little less oil. So I don't really know what I want to do with this. Maybe we can get when we get to... Where is it? I thought there was something up here, like a better fuel power generator, something. I know there was one. Anyway, there there is a better fuel generator somewhere. And that one is the one we need. And we'll get it somewhere. I know you can see it, but I can't see it. Damn, there is that one, this generator. So we'll probably get this. And how much does it produce? It doesn't, oh, five megawatt. Wow, four megawatt for 18 diesel. So maybe we'll just convert this into just a bigger backup power plant and just keep it like that. Or maybe get the rubber or somewhere else. I don't know, we'll uh, we'll see. If you have good ideas, let me know. She was fully repaired. And we are now pretty uh, stable with what we want to do. We have uh, built our advanced oil. We've gotten our, our uh, uh, our offshore oil coming in at a reasonable pace. I am also uh, now producing construction parts three. So for one of the things that we can do with construction part three is we can upgrade all of our, uh, is it I for upgrade? It is indeed. And then I just do this. That should work, yeah. And now I this, because it's twice as fast, it consumes three. It will be consuming at the same rate as that one. The only thing that needs to be done is these have to be upgraded because I need to make sure that there's a faster flow of stuff inbound here and also a faster flow outbound here and outbound here as well. This one is a big box. And then if I want to, then I can also just upgrade that, which will get all the way over to here. And then I will be able to consume here. Right now it's consuming a little bit more, but when we eventually want to upgrade to the next tier, then we can also support that flow with with concrete. We can support it with iron. And the last one we can support it with is wood. I hope so. And so now we are ready to the next part. And I think the next part will actually be working on some larger vehicles because larger vehicles is an amazing thing. It just requires glass. And one thing that I promised to show you was that when we go up here, you can now trade construction parts for glass. So one, two, that's all we can trade right now. And I have also done that while waiting for upgrades. So we now have 480 glass. And if I look at my 
large vehicles, they will require oh these ve this it's the vehicle parts, right? So the vehicle parts require is it? Yeah, I think it is. But maybe also yeah, anyway, the vehicle parts I need I'll get half as many. I think that's 20 vehicle parts for one one truck. So it'll probably be like 10 glass for each truck. So we can already make like kind of a lot of trucks available here. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope maybe you learned something. Maybe you got inspired how to build your, uh, your chemical plants and how to set up offshore oil. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. I will see you guys in the next episode. Also remember that uh, you can join me on Twitch where I'm also streaming Captain Industry a little bit at further ahead but also uh, just um just enjoying it there as well and of course if you want to you can support on patreon and support the channel and the work i do here i very much appreciate all the support from the community thank you very much until next time take care and stay effective